Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Great. How are you guys? Miren, Rachel, very, very comfortable. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hola, Vero. ¿Cómo estamos, chicas y chicos? Michael, George, Brandon. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. ¿Cómo me les fue, chicos, el día de ahora? Super nice. Tell me, please. <laughs> Say, yes, teacher. It was a wonderful day because I passed this and I had this and I do this. And that happened to me, right? Something like this, right? Positive things. Thing happened today, right? <laughs> Hello, bye. Chicos, it's time. It's time because it's eight o'clock, okay? But we are going to wait five minutes to wait for the other ones because we are just five people, six people connected, right? So we need more people, right? For a while, you can tell me what happened to you this day. What did you do? Something like this that you want to share with us. Teacher, mm -hmm. today attend the meeting with the um, the workers. Mm -hmm. I I can I can say si me quiero referir a mis compañeras de si partner. Oh yeah, you oh. can say co-workers. Co-workers or colleagues, okay. maybe right? Colleague. Ah, okay. Thank you. If they are in the same area and the same things that you do, you can say colleagues. Or you can say co-workers or partners co also, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh -huh. So you had a meeting, right? Sorry? So you have a meeting. You had a meeting. Had a meeting. I'm just a reunion. Teacher. Tuvo una reunión con sus compañeros. Ah, yes. Yes. Ah, ok. Yes. You had a meeting. <laughs> es que had con D, with D is el pasado de have con V. Ah. <laughs> That is why I told you had a meeting, right? <laughs> sí. Cuando le digo so, you had a meeting. Así que tuvo una reunión con sus compañeros, right? So yes, that's right. Teacher. Ok, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, guys? Yes. Okay, vaya, ¿qué dejamos de tarea el día de ayer, chicos? A ver si me recuerdan. Um, no me... five, five activity in my work. Ajá, uh -huh. so you are going to elaborate or you, you are going to make five activities that you usually make at your workplace, mm -hmm. right? Okay. What else? Solamente eso, sí, verdad. Frequency verbs are verbs. Frequency uh -huh. adverbs. Yesterday we were talking about frequency adverbs, guys. Fíjense que para ahora era el tema de los frequency adverbs, pero como ya lo tocamos el día de ayer un poco, nada más vamos a hacer una review y vamos a tener practice for today because yesterday we were talking about that. But it's the topic that corresponds for today, class. Because I, I, I think that we get advantage. We get advanced uh, from the, the manual yesterday, right? Avanzamos. Good evening, Good evening. How are you? Avanzamos mucho ayer, ¿verdad? Excellent. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Also for you, right? For me also, because I, I'm glad to hear that. Estoy complacida de escuchar que les fue bien, chicos. Me alegro mucho de que les fue bien ese día y que la pasaron bien. Ok, so just let me open the list because I'm going to pass it right now. Because I tend to forget it <laughs> and I need to pass it here as much as possible, right? As soon as possible. Ok, perfect. So let's start. 
Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Victoria Galán. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina Rivera de Caravantes. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Freddy Ricardo Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Laines Díaz. Present. Thank you, George. George Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present, teacher. Thank you. George eh, Luis Eduardo Reyes. Present. Thank you. María José Escobar Portillo. Present. Thank you, María José. Eh, Marisa Celina Aguilar Ramos. Miguel Santos Marroquín Villalta. Marroquín Maravilla, esta cosa es Villalta. Dios mío, qué barbaridad, Michael. Present, Maravilla, teacher. sorry. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. O Kelly de Jesús de Mestica Carranza. Present. Thank you. Verónica Lisset Portillo Castro. I'm present. Okay, thank you so much. So this is the first time that I passed the list. We hope the others get connected for the second time, right? So as I told you before, yesterday we were talking about Frequency advert. If we say that frequency advert are the words that tell us how often do you make a, uh, an action, right? With, with frequency, do you make an action, okay? For example, uh, how many times a week do you take uh, the bus? Or how many times a week do you do you go to the, to the job, right, early? Or maybe late, you are right late, et cetera, et cetera, so, right? So the frequency advert is going to give you how many times do you make that during a period of time, okay? For example, a week, for example, a month, for example, a, a year, or maybe a period of time with the afternoon, in the morning, et cetera, et cetera. Remember that also we are going to use the time classes other time expressions. You can use that also, right? Okay, so let's see. Para ver, a ver qué me pueden decir. ¿Qué entendieron de los frequency adverbs? Because I need to be sure that you already get the, very well the, the topic, right? Uh huh. In English? Yes. <laughs> Try in English, please. Teacher. Tell me, Rachel. I'm going I'm going to dinner. May I may I have my dinner? Yes, of course. You want you can take it. Bye. Okay. Excellent. Don't get lost, please. No se me va a perder por ahí. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Uh -huh. What you can say about the frequency algebra, what you get, or what do you understand about that topic, comments about that, examples. The frequency adverbs, it express how many times we we can do different things. Uh -huh. The frequency, um, if uh -huh. we get usually never uh, in a person, how many times we do. Exactly, how many times we do an action, right? During a period of time. And some examples are always. Usually. Usually, muy bien. Seldom. Sometimes. Seldom. Sometimes. Never. Never. What else? Often. Often, uh-huh. Occasionally. Occasionally, uh-huh. Rarely. 
Rarely, muy bien, excelente. Normally, right? Etc., etc. Okay, an example. Who give me an example? Give me an example using frequency adverb, please. Um, always, I always going to the the work. <laughs> I always go to the work in the mornings. You can say that, right? Morning. Okay. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> That's good. Ni modo, tenemos que ir. We have to, right? Aunque no queramos, siempre vamos. Yeah. It's a, like an obligation, right? <laughs> we don't want, but we have to, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, ahora bien, ¿a dónde podemos encontrar, chicos? Los frequency adverbs. ¿Cuáles son las dos posiciones que podemos encontrar de frequency adverbs? A ver, ¿quién se acuerda? Um, I can use the, the verb to be. Ajá. Uh -huh. Next um, verb to be. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Is the next. We can find the frequency adverb after the verb to be. After This is one be. of them. What is another option that you can find the frequency adverbs? After the subject. After the subject. Muy bien. Cuando no es Teacher. un verbo to be, ¿verdad? Teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me, Kelly. This rule is ever. Yes, that is a in rule that you have to follow, right? In verb so, to be. Yes, with the verb to be. When you first, have a verb to be, you can find the frequency of it after the verb to be. First, the verb to be, and the next is the okay. frequency of it. For example, she is always tighter after work. She Another is example always tighter after work. For example, in my case, um, I usually go to bed at 11 o'clock. Yes, yeah. but that is another another option. Did remember that there are two options. One is find the frequency adverb after the verb to be, and uh, the other one is to find the, the frequency adverb after the subject when we are not using the verb to be. The ones that you tell mm. before is the second option. You are can going you to give find... me? Can you give me one example, please? Yes, I'm giving it to you. <laughs> That okay. is why I'm explaining you. <laughs> But let me tell you first. <laughs> so okay. you are going to find the frequency adverb after the subject when we don't use the verb to be. For example, I always go around in the mornings. Yo siempre voy uh -huh. a, a correr en las mañanas. I, I know, okay? I know, yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, another example? Okay. The final. You With the verb that... to be. Yeah. The verb to be. She is always tighter after work. She's always tighter after work. Okay. She this is, is one example. This is the other example. With the verb to be. Ajá. Okay. She is. Is is the verb to be. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. the other option. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, we are always in class. We are always in class at eight o'clock. You can use another example. We are always in class at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's another example with the verb to be. Teacher, but if I say, I usually, uh, I can't say that or no. Yes, you can say it, but if you are not using the verb to be, you are using another verb. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. For example, one example. I am always. I don't know what. Uh -huh, I am what more. always. Yes, you are. You're right. Okay, this is one example, and I usually go to bed. This is yes. another example. This is another example. And and in this case, this is the two forms. Yes, they are the, they are the two forms that I told you before. Okay, okay, I understand. Excellent. Okay, go ahead. Varios. Uh -huh. Algo otro ejemplo que queramos agregar? We can add. Uh... <clears throat> 
atrás. Cri, cri. <risa> Vamos, niños. Ah, ya voy a empezar a seleccionar a los chicos que no están conectados con la cámara. Ok, vamos a ver, vamos a, vamos a poner ejemplos, ok, that's always function, right? Always works. <laughs> Thank you so much, George. Vamos a ver, who else? Ajá, ¿qué más? Ok, Brandon, Alexis, give me an example. Using the frequency algebra, using the verb to be, please. Brandon? I can identify who is here, who is not here, guys. Okay, vamos a ver, let's see. Mm. Cristina Beatriz, are you there? Maria Jose Escobar. Yes, I have an example. Okay, perfect. Um, I usually wake up every day at 4 a.m. Okay, I usually wake up at 4 a.m. O sea, ¿qué quiere decir que usualmente o siempre, María José? Mm, it's better say I always. Ajá, it's better. I always, I always wake up at 4 a.m. At 4 a.m. every day, right? Porque todos los días tú lo haces. Entonces quiere decir que es always, right? Ok, pero está muy bien. Excelente. Thank you so much. Teacher, Vamos. Tell me, ¿ah, huh, Kelly? One question. Where can I find this material in the platform? You can find it in the YouTube list for productions. In the message that the girl send us in the WhatsApp group before we start the class. You can okay. find list of production, right? Ahí está la lista de reproducción de YouTube. Dice también está el link de la plataforma. Está el link de WhatsApp, creo yo, ¿verdad? Y está no sé qué más, pero hay varios links. Ahí está la lista de reproducción. Ahí usted puede darle clic y ahí va a encontrar todos los videos. Don't speak me in Spanish, please. <laughs> Because I want to learn. Yes, I know. But sometimes you, you don't understand in English, so I have to, right? Thank so you. I need to, right? I'm sorry. But Thank if you, you want, so I told you in English, it's okay. So you can find the list of reproductions in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Please, okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's continue, guys. Uh -huh. Another example. I usually drive my motorcycle. Uh, I usually drive my motorcycle. Excellent. Another example. Thank you so much, George. Who wants to participate? Remember, the most you practice, the most you learn. So you have to practice, please. Try to do it. Don't be afraid. That's the purpose, right? That you learn. Uh-huh. Who else? Sometimes I arrive late to my work. Uh -huh. Sometimes I arrive late to my job right. or my work. Okay, you can say okay, perfect. Okay. Excellent. So right. that's happened because of the traffic, because of an accident, something that that happens, right? Mm, no, no, Brando, I can hear you yet. Hola, hola. Oh, I see. Y ahora te estoy intentando hablar. So you have problems with your audio also, right? Yeah. Uh, for another example is, for example, she is usually happy. Uh -huh. She is usually happy, right? Happy because she is uh, having fun. Or maybe you have time with her family. Maybe the purpose, right? You can explain why she's sometimes happy or maybe usually happy. But that's good. The structure is good. It's okay, right? So you are using subject plus a frequency adverb plus main verb plus a, the complement, right? That's great. Thank you so much. Uh, who else? Vamos a ver. Edith, Adilia, Hernandez. Hello. 
Are you there? Teacher. Hello? Okay. Hello. Hello. Teacher, for example, the adverbs uh, generally, for example, uh, if the same rule, uh, I can to say, for example, generally I am to, I am to work at seven o'clock. Yes, they are some exceptions that they start the sentences, right? Yes, you are. Okay. You are looking for the information in the internet, and you are making questions, right? I hope that you make it because of the purpose of learning for the other ones. <laughs> I hope so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So, what is the next example? One example more, and then we're going to continue with the practice because I have to practice. I have a listening, and we have a a, a reading for you guys. You. You use the frequency ever in that case, okay? I want to try I to play soccer. I used to play soccer, right? Muy bien. I used to what? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más suele hacer usted? ¿Qué más solemos hacer, chicos? Por ejemplo, I used to take um, dance classes, or I used to take a break, or I used to, to have a snack in the afternoon, but I used to tener un refrigerio en las tardes, or I used to drink uh, orange juice, something that you usually do, or an action that you use, right? With a frequency, a period of, of time, right? Um, <clears throat> teacher mm -hmm. and I occasionally se occasionally I occasionally watch car movie with my wife okay I, I occasionally watch car watch movies car movie uh, with, with my, my wife. wife okay excelente si así es so we are not using the verb to be, so it's good the structure. Subject plus frequency adverb plus main verb plus the company. If it is not talking about verb to be, when we talk about verb to be, the frequency adverb is after that, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. So any other question? Teacher, I Tell can me. say, um, for example, uh, my sister usually eat fries. Yes, my sister usually eat fries. Fries como frituras, ¿verdad? Fries. Papas. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. sí, así es. Uh -huh. Excelente. Okay. okay, perfect. Or I usually make the dinner on Fridays, right? Or I usually take a shower at night. Maybe some of people have that habit, right? That they take a shower at night before go to bed, right? So the chair. Uh-huh. Uh, can I try? Yes, you can try. Go ahead. Okay. I never go to dance, but I but I always always go to work in the morning. Okay, see? Exactly. Just so yes. you are making a contrast, right? I never okay. go to dance, right? I never go to dance, uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, but I always go to work in the morning. See, así es. Excelente, Michael. Así es. You can Thank combine, you, you can make compound, compound sentences for also, this, right? For, okay. For your support. Okay, no, no se preocupe. Aquí estamos para servir. Okay, okay. vamos a ver. Ahora vamos a pasar a lo que es la, la práctica, chicos. Veo que hemos entendido muy bien el tema y pues creo que no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? En cuanto a, le, a lo de las reglas, right? Y la estructura. Entonces vamos a hacer lo que es la reading. Y luego, pues, vamos a hacer un listening. O lo hacemos el listening primero y luego la reading. What, what do you think? Or what do you want? Or I choose. <laughs> For me, reading. Okay, perfect. Bueno, vamos a hacer el reading first and then we're going to make the listening. Okay? So I'm going to open the WhatsApp group and I'm going to send you the link.
Okay, ahorita, chicos. Just give me some seconds. Okay, observe. You need two teacher. No, is eh, para. Ya les mando el, el la la. Es que les voy a mandar un link. Ah, okay. okay. Ajá. Ahorita se los mando. Ya ahorita. Pero chicos, solo denme unos minutitos porque el WhatsApp no me abre. Aquí ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Ahorita. Solo me lo contesta la chica y ya. Okay. Ahí estamos. Ese this is a reading. Ya ahorita les, les pongo lo que vamos a encontrar, chicos. Y pues luego vamos a lo siguiente. Ok, so, this is a reading comprehension, adverb of frequency. So you are going to read this conversation about Bart Simpson, right? And you are going to find the answer that are asking here. For example, answer this sentence with the true or false. It depends on what you are reading there, okay? So you are going to say if it is true, if it is false, false right? Bart gets up at 7.20 a.m., right? It's true or it's false? It depends on you guys. So you are going to read this first, analyze the reading, and then you are going to answer these questions. And we finish, okay? So you have 10 minutes or more. If you need more time, please let me know. Okay, go ahead. Mil, mil house teacher. Uh -huh. What is this? Which one? Mil house. Ah, ah, mil house es el de los Bar Simpsons. Mil el house, amigo. el amigo de Bar. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know that. Right. No worries. Es, Skinner también es el señor Cuchito mm -hmm. para ser. Este. <laughs>
Okay, you're the first one. Okay, 10 of 10, congratulations. Vamos a ver who else. Okay, this is Maritza, right? Okay, 10 of 10, excellent Maritza. Maritza. Congratulations to all of you guys. Who else? No, this is the teacher's script. Okay. Teacher, tell me, can you explain me which one about the exercise? Ah, okay, so I, I'm sorry because I am busy. I no. was, I was, sorry. No worries, no worries. Okay, so, okay. So you are going to read these articles about bar and the things okay. that we do, right? And then you're okay. going to answer the sentences that you have here. Answer it if it is true or if it is false, right? Depending okay. on what you read about, okay? Okay, yeah. perfect. Right, okay, thank Great. you. You're welcome, no worries. Okay, this is George, nine of 10, excellent, George. Congratulations also. Okay, not in Los Angeles, no, no, okay. Son of Temp, okay, congratulations, Joy. Also, <clears throat> excellent. Mari, Maria Jose, right? Mari Mari Jose, Mari. Okay, ten of ten. Okay, excellent. Dice Landa Verde, eight of ten. Okay, excellent. Congratulations, guys. Victoria, nine of ten. Congratulations, Victoria. Okay. Teacher. Thank you. Tell me. Exist. Exist. Any link? Yes, in the WhatsApp group. Okay, okay. Okay. Morelia Perdomo, also 10 of 10. Rachel, 10 of 10. Congratulations, guys. Excellent. Well done. Okay, so let's do it, guys. Who, who helped me? Who says the first one is true or is false? What? The first one. It's true or is it false? Is false. It, it, is, is true. it is false. Why is it's false, Freddy? Get. Get. Um, is... I get up at seven o'clock and bar gets up at seven eighteen a.m. Eighteen, right? So it is false. Are you agree, guys? Okay. Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Good. Who's that number two? Who's that number two? 
To he takes a shower to. after brushing his teeth. Is true or false? True. True or false? True. 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 Okay. So let's see. Why is true? What the reading says. Um, so, so um, say take a quick shower and always brush my teeth. Uh huh. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Uh -huh. Vale. De esa manera es como vamos a ir desarrollando el habla, verdad? Usted le hace una pregunta y usted tiene que argumentar de dónde sacó la 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 respuesta, verdad? Y así vamos a ir aumentando, ¿ok? He almost never eats fast. True or, or false? False. False. Why? Because he always eats as fast as uh, he can. As he, okay, as fast as he can. Okay, excellent. But Elisa seldom run to catch the school bus. Is true or is false? False. Okay, are you sure, guys? Who else? Yes, it's false. Yes, false. Why? What? What do you say that? What is that? In which line said? Okay, me and my sister Lisa sometimes run to catch the school on our breakfast. Right? Okay, excellent. So Omer, right? Never steal the food of the, his children. Is true or false? False. False, false right? False. Because he always, right? Steal the food of his children, right? Skinner is the best friend of Bart. True or false? False. False, false. false. also, false. right? Because, because uh -huh. the best friend the Mill House. Uh -huh. Milhouse. Milhouse is his best friend, okay? Yes, you're right. Bart it's, always it's catches a... the bus on his way home. True or false? False. Because uh, they always walk on, my, walk on your, your way home. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Bart practices other things like bothering people three times a week. True or false? It's true or it's false, guy? Who say? False. Then false. Why? Because it's skating uh -huh. he... around the town for four times a week. Uh, uh -huh. twice a, a week I practice other things like for instance make some talks uh, to Homer. Bien. Homero. Homero. Sí, Homer, Homer is an English Homer. Homer, you can say Homer. Uh -huh. right? Homer is an easygoing person. He never gets angry. Uh -huh. Easygoing is como personas llevaderas, like que se relacionan con todo. False. <laughs> False, right? <laughs> Because he gets, uh, he gets angry and he bothers to others. <laughs> so, yeah. so that means it is false. Okay, perfect, guys. Thank you so much. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Let's check it. Okay, guys, look at this. You're pretty good in that, right? Thank you so much. Now... We are going to have our listening, okay? This is the evaluations of the practice that we are going to have for today, okay? Vamos a ver, let's see. Just give me some minutes. Muy bien, excelente. Vamos, ahí vamos. Go ahead. Vaya, voy a abrir lo que vamos a encontrar ahí para que podamos explicar cuáles son las guidelines, right? Or what are the followings that you have to follow. Okay, vamos a ver. Frequency address, okay? So in this case, we have a listening. We are going to watch this video first and then we're going to complete the conversation with the missing words that you have here, okay? 
But first of all, you are going to watch that video and you are going to use these frequency adverbs that is usually, often, sometimes, or rarely, right? And also in the conversations too, you are going to use usually, often, and sometimes also, right? And the third one you are going to use always, usually, rarely, and never. And they are going to tell you what which words you are going to use in that quite in that a uh, conversations or, or in each conversation. Okay. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Vamos a ver quién es pues, the first one. Ok, it says María José, excelente, 10 of 10, congratulations. You're welcome, thank you. Excellent. Congrats.
Sí, let's see, guys. Okay, Giselle. Okay, oh, Kelly. Excellent. Also, guys. Congratulations to all of you, guys. Congrats. Excellent. Somebody else? If you need some help, you can tell me, okay? No worries. Somebody else? Okay, let's check it in, right? You are going to help me, okay, to answer this. Jose, conversation number one, please. What do you do on the weekends, girl? I? I usually. I usually? Uh-huh. Stay home, but sometimes I go out. Okay, but sometimes I go out. Muy bien. Next. Where do you go? Um, sometimes I go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go to the park. Sometimes I go to the park. Sometimes I go to the park. And you are going to ask me why sometimes is at the beginning, right? Because sometimes belongs to the exceptions with general, with generally, right? As I told you before. También pertenece a las excepciones, tanto como los que van después del, del sujeto, como los que pueden ir antes, ¿verdad? Pero son algunas excepciones que ustedes se tienen que aprender a medida pase el tiempo. Les puedo mandar un listado de cuáles son los que van antes de la oración. Pero son pocos, son como cuatro o cinco. ¿Ok? Next. I often go there too. I often go there too. Do you ever go to the lake? Go to the lake? No, very oh, rarely. No, very rarely. rarely. Okay. It is too far from from my house. Okay, it is too far from my house. Okay, who well, tell me the next round? Conversation number two. What do you usually have for dinner? What do you usually have for dinner? I try to eat healthy, so I... I usually, usually cook, cook vegetables. vegetables. I usually cook vegetables. Really? What kind of stuff do you make? Sometimes I eat soups. soups. Uh -huh. so, Sometimes uh -huh. I make stir fries. Sometimes I make stir fry, right? Stir fry, that's not very healthy. What is the meaning of the stir fry? The stir fry is como exceso fritos o, o como guisados. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Salteados. Thank you. Okay, I know, but I don't eat that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Often? 
Often. 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 Okay, perfect. Next. Jose, the next one? About work. Uh huh. No, I never take the bus. I never. I never take the bus. But. Wait. Always. Okay, I always. always. I always drive. drive. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, it's much easier to drive. Do you drive to work? Actually, I rarely drive. I usually walk to work. I live. Okay, I usually walk to work. Walk to work. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Okay, the next yeah. one. Do mm. you ever go to, to the movies? Uh -huh. I rarely do. I rarely it do it. Do? Right. Uh -huh. It is too expensive to you. Not often. Not often. I usually rent DVDs. Not really? often. I usually rent DVDs. Okay. Really? I never, I never do, that. do that. Okay. Next one. Usually train usually... Mm -hmm. Do you have fast internet? Yeah. yeah. Usually it is fast. But sometimes is slow. It is slow. But sometimes it is slow. Okay, excellent. So let's take it. Okay, congratulations, guys. Aquí me equivoqué. Okay, because I read, I read never and often at the same time. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, but it's okay, right? So I, I know that you have got 10 of 10 and we did it, right? Okay, thank you so much. Do you, do you feel a uh, difficult there, the practice, yes or not? Yes or not, guys? Sure. Tell me. Uh, este, yo no le puedo tomar captura, no me deja. <laughs> me oh. dice que es por política de, de la página, pero no sé por qué no me deja. Pero está desde el celular, Verónica, o está desde la computadora. Sí, sí. es del teléfono. Es de verdad, pero qué raro que no me deja tomar captura. Sí, por eso yo no los mando porque no me deja, no sé por qué, si veo que todos le mandan. Dice, no es posible capturar la pantalla debido de a la casualidad, política de seguridad. Tenés como que flotando el, el, la plataforma Zoom cuando abrí Google también. Pues no sé por qué me abre directo, no sé cómo identificarlo. Porque o sea, fíjate que yo la captura no la puedo tomar cuando tengo abierto, o sea, el zoom, pero en chiquitito, arribita. No sé cómo explicarlo. Ah, y si cierro no la burbuja sí. del zoom, ya me deja tomar la ah, captura. Ya le deja abrir. Uh -huh. Ah, that's happening. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Maris, Marixa. Ok, guys. So, now we are going to pass to the manual. We already make the practice in order to perfection it or make a practice in order to get a, or finish to understand what the topic is about, right? And then we are going to pass to the manual. Okay. I'm going to open in page, on page. Let me see. Ya les digo, ¿qué página nos quedamos, chicos? Stay at page. Give me some seconds. I'm going to open the platform. Mira. Okay, perfect. Okay. Mi papá me la arrancó. Sí, 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 Okay, this one. George, excellent, George. George and George. Both of you also, Alexi Velasquez also, Victoria also, congratulations guys. Congratulations to all of you.
Vậy estamos en la en la unit 2, right? Okay, George Ernesto Durán, excelente. Congratulations. Okay, excellent. Ay, es precioso, mi bebé. What? <laughs> okay, so we were... Estaba con mi hijo, perdón. Yes, I know, that's so... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I feel so numb, right? <laughs> Nos sentimos bien amados. Thank you I so saw, much. I saw, okay. <laughs> okay, George, do you have some questions? Eh, tendré apagada la cámara porque tengo como un 20% de carga nada más. Okay, no se preocupe, George. Thank you so much for Thank noticing you. me. <laughs> Qué amados nos sentimos, Verónica. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> and low in the, in the air, right? <laughs> Mucho amor en el <laughs> Okay, perfect. So let's start. <laughs> so we feel so low, right? Okay, so we were in the quest, in the activities that you were, and you were going to do about your workplace, right? Using the verb that we that we, we have in this, in the activity number five. For example, work, open, arrive, close or go, right? So give me some examples. We are going to explain it. We are going to make it a brief and then we're going to pass to another activity, okay? Okay, let's see. I'm going to share the screen, guys. You can see what we are doing, okay? So we were in this activity, right? Did you make it? Did you make it? Yes. Okay, perfect. So volunteers, all right, choose or victims. Me, coach, just explain me what are you going to do. Okay, perfect. So you are going to make some sentences using this verb plus the frequency adverbs that we have there, right? Could be always, never, sometimes, usually, seldom, whatever you want to use, right? about the activities that you usually make in your workplace. For example, I work, uh, I usually work from blah, 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 to ta, 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 ta. Okay, this is an example, right? Yo usualmente trabajo desde las tales horas hasta las tales horas. Un ejemplo, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Always work, always working today, every day, excuse me. Okay, I always work every day. Muy bien, excelente. Thank you so much, George. Who else? ¿Qué más? I always work as late mm -hmm. every day. You always work at late or late, right? Every day, really? Yeah. That's a retire, right? Yeah. So you always get tired. <laughs> you are always tired after work <laughs> yeah she's tired and not sad but i have to do yes you have to do that's an obligation right okay perfect thank you so much who else who wants to participate the most you practice the most we are guys remember that you I... have to start to speak please go ahead yes i usually attend the meeting excellent i usually attend the meetings or i usually i and set the meetings or I prepare the meeting or I organize the meeting. You can use that verse also, right? Okay, thank you so much. Who else? I often send the emails to customer. Okay, I often send some emails to the customer or the emails to the customer or client, right? Okay, excellent, good. Next, another example, guys, George. Nancy? Me, teacher. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Where on a regular day in my workspace, I usually take a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. After that, I check my emails and answer some of them. I always pay taxes, taxes because we have to buy some inventory. Mm -hmm. My boss arrives at 7 o'clock. And the office opens at 7 o'clock every day and close at 5 p.m. Okay, excellent. So you say 
everything that you make during the day, right? In your workplace, that's good. Excellent, congratulations. Who else? Que más? Who wants to share us? His or her activities. Okay, perfect. I, I, I always open the windows in the morning. Uh -huh. Excellent, that's a great example. Thank you so much. Next, somebody else? Me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I always make coffee in the morning. Okay. I always make a cup of coffee in the mornings, or maybe you make the coffee in general for all of all of your partner, right? Maybe, right? Okay, that's good. Excellent. Congratulations. Who else? Every day I arrive bed at my work. Okay, every day I arrive Pet at my work. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Congratulations. That's the way. That's the structure. I always arrive Pet. Pet. Okay, to my job. Okay, excellent. Llevas mascotas or something like this, right? Uh, no. Every no. day llegan. Ah, oh, okay. Every day all right, pets. Yes, you're right. Okay, thank you so much. You're right. Uh huh. Thank you. Somebody else. So you work sure at get... the veterinarian. At the, uh, the veterinarian. Yes, clinic, I work right? Green area. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. That's good to know. It. I have a pet also. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> next. <laughs> Teacher. Tell me, Freddy. I usually check the indicator of the plant, the production plant. Okay, I usually check the indicators of the production plant. plant. Okay, excellent. Okay, go ahead, Kelly. Okay. <laughs> um, I usually close my mouth during moments of silence. Okay, I usually close my mouth in a moment of, of a silence, right? Silent because yeah. maybe you are giving a minute of silence because sometimes someone is dying, right? Uh, or someone is dead, something like this, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Congratulations. Next. Somebody else wants to participate? Every day I live in at seven o'clock. Okay. I always I live, I live at seven o'clock. You no. live, you live your home. Yes. Okay, I leave my home at seven o'clock. Okay, excellent. So you 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 go to your workplace, right? Siempre sale a las siete de su casa para ir al trabajo. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Somebody else, guys, who wants to participate? The last participation, then we are going to start with the other activities. Maritza? I am here. <laughs> okay, perfect, go ahead. Um, let me tell you, during my work, I do many activities. Um, I usually go to work at 7 a.m. And I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, I always check my email. Then I, then when my, when my boss arrives at the office, mm -hmm. uh, we always talk about the news. Mm -hmm. And also in the afternoon, I receive new employees mm -hmm. and explain the company's rules. Uh -huh. And... Usually, in the afternoon, I receive calls, calls, uh -huh. and and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna not like okay. mm -hmm. I I gossip <laughs> with uh -huh. my coworkers. <laughs> okay, I gossip a little bit, and, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I always use my computer and. And in the evening, in the evening, uh -huh. I usually, or oh, oh, no, 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 I always, <laughs> for the moment, <laughs> re I receive my 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 English class, and before I sleep, I do my homework. Okay, perfect, excellent, excellent, congratulations, Maritza. <laughs> Thank okay, you. 
Thank you so much. See you too, right? Okay, Anna Victoria, would you like to participate? Yes, I have two sentences. Okay. I son uh, I sometimes sometimes arrive late at my work. Uh -huh. And I never close my email in my computer. Okay, excellent. Congratulations, Anna. Esas, esas son las actividades que ustedes hacen generalmente. Entonces, de esa manera vamos a ocupar los frequency hours para decir qué tan seguido hacemos esas actividades, ya sea en el trabajo, ya sea en nuestra casa o ya sea en nuestro tiempo libre, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que hay free activities y hay eh, daily activities, etc. O work activities. There are three kind of activities different, right? So you have to classify it. But you can use the frequency algebra in that way. Uh, este, Alex, you know, you, are you ready? Would you like to participate? Teacher, me. Okay, perfect, Michael. Go ahead. Uh, on weekends, I always go to river with my son, and uh -huh. we also usually go running in the park. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. That's the way. Thank you for you. Okay, somebody else? Yes, teacher. Okay, Alex, right. go ahead. I usually uh, all day checking mm -hmm. checking WhatsApp groups. Mm -hmm. uh, I usually uh, type in my computer uh, a lot of report. Mm -hmm. um, I have a control uh, to sales. Uh -huh. the, that's all. Okay, perfect. Excellent, Alex. That's the way, okay? So your your participation is, is excellent, right? Okay, thank you so much. Bueno, so entonces hasta acá terminamos con la speaking y vamos a lo siguiente. Pues esta es la actividad que get in pairs and tell your partners. En vez de que decimos en parejas, pero la estamos haciendo así. Eh, directamente a la clase. Porque a veces perdemos mucho tiempo en estar haciendo los breakout rooms. Entonces nos toma too much time, right? So... Present your conversation to the class. No, this is not at all, right? So we are going to pass on another one. <clears throat> what is an important strategy restaurant? So let's talk about restaurants, guys. Okay, so what is an important strategy restaurant could implement to get more clients? And what are some successful restaurants you know? Okay, what are some successful restaurants you know here in El Salvador? Quality. Uh -huh. But that's that's our the strategy. And the primero vamos a hablar acerca de los restaurantes que son más grandes, ¿verdad? que tienen mucho, eh, ¿cómo le digo? Eh, popularidad, ¿verdad? Que son grandes compañías. Uh -huh. It's a marketing. Uh -huh. Pizza, right? Pizza restaurant. What else? The um. Burger King. Burger King. Uh -huh. Wendy's. Wendy's, muy bien. What else? Um, Pollo Campero. Uh -huh. Pollo Campero, right? It has a lot of branches, right? In my uh -huh. department, La Pampa. La Pampa, muy bien, excelente. It's so it's, a, it's famous, it's famous restaurant, right? Uh huh. Right. Look up the chicken. Uh huh. Also, right. The sister, Mister Donna. Sister, but little sister is uh fast food, right? Pero solo para llevar, right? It's not a restaurant, okay? But it's part, right? It's famous, also, right? I, I you you found the food court, the mall. Ah, also, ah, okay. Yes, you're right. If you're going to eat in the food. In the food, you can you can sit down there, right? But if you're going to pass it, in, just take it and teacher. Bring it. Uh huh. Sorry, I got lost. What is the question? <laughs> okay, so this is the the questions. What mm -hmm. are some successful restaurant you know here in the country, in El Salvador? Mm -hmm. 
Do you consider Tony Romans is a mm -hmm. successful restaurant here in El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Tony Roman. Mm -hmm. um. Successful. What is successful? Es como exitosos, ¿verdad? Ah. Uh -huh. In Metro Centro, yes. Ajá, in Metro Centro. Also, este, Kentucky, right? Yes. Um, Chinese food, China wood. Exactly, China. Mm -hmm. China Walk also is a su successful restaurant, right? Okay, muy Pizza bien. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Dennis. Dennis, uh, yes, you're right. Dennis is, a, is famous also, right? Why not? La Pampa, y tiene muchas, eh, muchas como, este, ¿cómo se dice? Sedes, ¿verdad? O, o, o ¿qué? Brancher. Ah, uh -huh. branches. Right? Branches. branches. Eh, also, what else? ¿Qué más? ¿Cuál es el otro que tiene? Pollo Real. Pollo Real, sí, ha visto uh -huh. Pollo Real, ¿verdad? Sí, ya ha visto. Pollo ¿Qué más? So el Subway. Sí tiene, ¿verdad? Varias. Sí, las he visto en varios lugares también. Ajá. Ok, so. What is, ahora vamos, después de que ya des, definimos los restaurantes que son más exitosos en el país, ¿verdad? O que simple vista son exitosos porque tienen muchas sedes o tienen muchas, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Se me ha ido la, la palabra. Demanda. Sucursales. Sucursales, es. Thank you so much. Ahora vamos a ver, what is an important strategy restaurants could implement you get more clients? Si usted fuera este, el manager or something or someone that works there and you want to help that restaurant to get more clients, what would you do? ¿Qué es lo que haría para mejorar la clientela? A ver, tell me. Have an excellent customer service. Uh -huh. Have an excellent uh, customer service. For example, a good attention. Uh -huh. A good attention is like a customer service also, right? It's included there. Who for else? example, I could make commercials on TV. Uh -huh. I could make commercial or prom make promotions on TV, Promotion. right? Maybe in social media. Uh -huh. Promotion in delivery teacher. Is, uh -huh. also is the good prom idea. Promotion, the promotion in the delivery also, right? Okay, muy bien. Yes. Excelente idea. Good idea. Who else? ¿Qué más? What else? Quality in the products. Uh -huh. Quality in the products that it sells or it offer, right? Muy bien. Excelente. And the last one. La última. A ver, ¿quién dice la última? The excellent cleaning. Yes, the cleaning is the most important, it's right? The most important. Yes, it's the most important. The important. company, the restaurant teacher. Yes, also, and the attention into the restaurant, right? Okay, perfect. There are a lot of strategies that you can implement to get more clients in a place in this of this kind of right but okay let's see listen to your teacher read the conversation then practice with a partner so i need two volunteers that can help me to read in this conversation volunteers okay okay perfect brandon and me okay no bracito no tengo no tengo okay perfect go ahead vamos chica y chico okay Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Moss. I'm just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. basis? That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies, and I want to know something things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change change the min menu menu however oh. we are promoting a dessert every week mm -hmm. do we ever give a uh, promotional items no sir we never do okay excellent what is the conversation about guys 
restaurant often change change the meaning in the restaurant. Okay, it's about our restaurant, right? In the opening of our restaurant, right? And the strategies, the strategies that they are going to use, right? To make the promotion of that restaurant, right? Or make some strategies to call the attention of, all, of more clients. Okay, excellent. And what is the strategies that they are going to promote or they are going to make? What is this? What is? Mm. This we're uh, promote, promoting a uh, dessert uh -huh. every week. Uh -huh. We are going to promote it. Or we, are promote, we are promoting a dessert, right? A dessert uh -huh. every week, right? So they are going to change the dessert, right? In order they call attention to the clients. Okay, muy bien. Es una buena idea también, ¿verdad? Como cambiar el menú semana a semana o implementar nuevas cosas, right? Okay, perfect. So let's see. Pay work. Get in pairs and discuss the following questions with a partner. What kind of restaurant you do you do you think Jennifer manage, right? What are some marketing strategies the restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients? A ver, ¿cuál es la primera? What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manage? Checking the number of people who come in a regular busy. Aha, uh -huh. so checking. Repeat, please. Checking. checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. Okay, checking the number of people that comes in a regular basic. Basic, basic. excellent. Number two, basic. what are some marketing strategies that the restaurant is using nowadays to get the more clients? Change the menu. Change the menu, uh huh. What's what the other one? Yeah, give a more promotional. Uh huh. Promotion out there, sir. Right. Also. Strategy. Strategy. Uh huh. And I want to know some something. Uh mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, vamos chicos. Now, this is the grammar focus, right? Adverb of frequency indicate how often an action takes place. Eso es lo que les estaba refiriendo al principio, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el periodo de tiempo en el cual usted realiza una acción y qué tan seguido la hace, right? Y acá tenemos lo que son los frequency adverb. Algunos, no todos, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que hay más. Always, seldom, rarely, hardly ever, y never, right? Examples, we often change the menu, right? ¿Cuál es la otra? ¿Quién me lee la otra? We always give away promotional items. Uh -huh. We always give away promotional items. The, the last one? They regularly select the new option. The regular select the new option. Okay, so what we're going to do now, guys. Write the sentences about the activities you do at your workplace. Use the following adverbs of frequency to state how often do you do those activities. So for, for each frequency adverb that you have here, you're going to make a sentence describing what you do in your workplace. But you are going to use these frequency adverbs. Okay, it's clear what you are going to do. Yes, no. So, so. Eso es casi lo mismo que estuvimos haciendo hace rato, chicos. Solamente que aquí les dan los eh, frequency adverbs que ustedes van a ocupar, ¿verdad? Para hacer las oraciones que usted generalmente o frecuentemente hace en su lugar de trabajo. Okay, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hardly ever, hardly ever is casi nunca, right? Or raramente. Casi nunca.
Yo siempre verifico lo que voy a hacer antes de trabajar. El micrófono. The microphone. Ya nos expusiste. <risa> ya nos expusiste. Ah, ya no le puede dar práctica. Sí, ya vi que está haciendo un trabajo. <risa> No, no Chale. worries. That help us also, right? Sometimes. <laughs> Chalice. <laughs> <All right. laughs>
Finish? No yet. Solo una oración teacher por cada. Ajá, por alto cada alto. frequency alto. Yes. Okay. Ah, pues sí, finish. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay, excellent. Who else? Uno más? I'm finished too. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Bye. Ahora vamos a decir uno, 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 okay? So, volunteers? Me teacher. Okay, perfect. Go ahead, Brandon. I always take my breakfast in my work. Okay, excellent. Next, somebody else with Rarely? Me. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. I seldom lost my lost my bank. There uh -huh. are always things to do. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Next, somebody else with Rarely? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I I hardly ever get angry with my co-workers. Okay, <laughs> excellent. That's a good idea. A good, good, good habit and a good attitude, right? Okay, next. I shall, I shall have free time in free time in my work. Okay, I shall don't make a free time in my job, right? My okay. Work. Excellent. Next. Ramirez, Mr. Ramirez. I here here mm -hmm. to 
Soy el único Ramírez, ¿verdad? Yes, Mr. Ramírez. <laughs> ¿Por dónde es que vamos? Perdí la cuenta. Sometimes or never. You can use sometimes or you can use ah, never. Ah, okay. Okay. I, 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 I sometimes watch a movie uh -huh. and I never play soccer in my job. Okay, perfect. Excellent. I never play soccer. Somebody else who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I never have breakfast at work, only at home. Okay, you never have breakfast at home, at my at your job, right? Just at work, okay, at work, only at home. Only at home. Okay, excellent. Good. Okay, chicos. Bye. Tenemos acá, miren, this is your turn. Look at the paragraph showing how often three branches of restaurants do promotional activities during a month, okay? Then as a classmate, how often each branch does promotional activities? Write your classmate answers in the chart below, okay? Dice que... Okay. Veamos eh, lo que es el, la gráfica, ¿verdad? Perdón, the graph. And showing how often three branches of the restaurant do promotional activities. Quiere decir que <clears throat> qué tan seguido hacen ellas la, ellos la promotional o promoción de las, ¿qué? de las actividades que ellos hacen. Cada cuánto, ¿verdad? Al mes. Quiere decir que esta hace cada, ¿qué? Cada semana, ¿verdad? En un mes. Tenemos uno, dos, tres, cuatro, porque ese es el mes de octubre, nada más. ¿Ok? Entonces quiere decir que lo hace cuatro veces al mes. Una por semana. Entonces usted va a preguntar a sus compañeros qué tan seguido las sucursales hacen las actividades promocionales y después va a escribir, ¿verdad? La, la respuesta que les dé el compañero. ¿verdad? Que en este caso, pues, sería semanalmente. Entonces pueden decir... Eh, bueno, no lo vamos a hacer así porque la, la respuesta está ya prácticamente con lo que les dije, ¿verdad? Sería four times a month, right? In this case. Sería cuatro veces al mes. O one times a week. You can say that, right? Una vez a la semana. O cuántas veces a la semana? Que ver unas, no, cuatro veces a la semana, ¿verdad? Sería una, dos, tres, cuatro. <clears throat> Entonces sería four times a week. Change the menu, right? Four times a week, change the menu. Or once times a week, change the menu. De ahí le dice... Ajá. De color de... En los, los colores de la barrera son los diferentes departamentos. Ajá. Entonces sería una vez, nada más. ¿verdad? Por eso dice change the menu. Yes. yes, you're right. De ahí dice rotate uh -huh. shift. Rotate shift es rotan el horario. New desert, el nuevo poster, right? And promotional items. Promociona los nuevos, ¿qué? Artículos, ¿verdad? Entonces usted va a decir, este, often, They change the menu. How often they change the menu? Four times a week change the menu. No, es que estamos equivocados. Yo sé que eran cuatro veces las barritas, pero no, ese es lo del, lo del department. Dice, en la paz. Yes. Entonces sería yes, solamente... Salvador, change the menu 12... Twice in a month, maybe. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería four times a month, right? Porque serían las, yeah. las verdecitas, ¿verdad? Doce veces. Pero no todas ah, dos, ok. Doce cuatro veces. Doce. Ajá, uh -huh. serían dos, hasta el doce, right? Ajá, doce veces en un mes. Uh -huh. Pero de todo sería al final cuatro veces. Ajá, uh -huh. si lo hacemos este por mes, sería four times a month. Pero si usted lo dice semanalmente, ¿verdad? Sería one, one times a week. If okay. I no mistake. ¿Verdad? But no? in this case, is one uh, in the month because it's October. Ajá, pero... 
como, 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 ajá, como al mes. Ajá, pero vaya, como dice, de, dice, look at the graph showing how often three branches of the restaurant do promotional activities during a month, right? Yes, you're right. Okay. So, entonces, pues yo para que practique un poco más lo de la times a week, pero si lo queremos hacer mensualmente, está bien, porque sí tiene razón. En esta parte, uh, co, este, por el mes, right? Teacher. Ajá. Teacher. Teacher, viendo la gráfica, la gráfica hace referencias a diferentes promociones dentro de un mes. Ajá. Entonces, quiere decir que usted va a hacer cuatro preguntas. Por ejemplo, va a decir, mm -hmm. how often mm -hmm. they, do they change the menu? ¿Qué tan seguido cambian el menú? Ah, ellos cambian el menú. ¿Cuántas veces? Una, dos, tres, cuatro. Four times a month, right? Si lo queremos tomar como un mes. ¿verdad? Ah, no. Ese, uh, teacher, este, lo que pasa es que eh, en cuanto a la gráfica, por ejemplo, el cambio de menú solo ocurre 12 veces ah. y en San Salvador. Pero uh -huh. el siguiente que es de San Salvador siempre es, es cambio de, de rotate shift. ¿Es cambio de qué? Perdón. ¿A qué se refiere? Rotate shift. Rotan los horarios. Ah, vaya, entonces ocho los veces horarios. En como... Ajá. Ajá, ocurre ocho veces en el mes. Y dice, the new dessert o de nuevas, ¿qué dice? El nuevo postre, dessert, no. también el postre. <risa> ah, <risa> postre. Ajá, vaya, nuevos postres se dan casi diez veces al mes. Ajá. Y un ítem promocional ocurre dieciséis veces al mes. La, las preguntas acá literalmente serían unas cuatro, como... ¿Qué se podrían decir? Casi 16 preguntas se podrían sacar, ya que cada una, cada un color representa un municipio, y cada un color representa a la vez un distinto menú que se cambia y tiene una cantidad diferente de, de, de ¿cómo se dice? De, o sea, tiene una cantidad diferente en el mes. Ajá, vaya, pero como, bueno, esa verdad. Es lo que entiendo yo, ¿verdad? Porque se están preguntando a, mensualmente, entonces cada, cada color representa qué tanto, ¿verdad? Un entonces, municipio, ajá, un ajá, municipio, dos, y a la vez qué tanto se hace ese, esa promoción en especial. Entonces se podría preguntar, el municipio de San Salvador, ¿qué tanto cambia su menú en el mes de octubre? ¿O qué tanto cambia su menú en el mes de octubre? Ajá. O se puede preguntar la paz, ¿qué tanto se, se cambió? Su, su menú en el mes de octubre y cada uno va a arrojar datos diferentes. Ah, ok, es que yo no lo entendía eso acá de las 12 veces. Solamente yo pensé que era solo como para representar la vez, ¿verdad? Que hacían, pero representaba uh -huh. solo una vez. Ajá. Estaba equivocada. Sí. Entonces, por eso me Ajá. decía este Brandon que eran 12 veces. Sí, eran, eran diferentes cada una. O sea, okay. son un montón de preguntas que se I pueden I got sacar. it, ok, I got it. Mejor todavía, entonces vamos a practicar. <laughs> Thank you so much for explaining that graphic, right? <laughs> Thank you, Brandon, also. You're welcome, teacher. <laughs> I didn't get it right the first time. <laughs> ok, vaya, entonces, pero se entiende lo que vamos a hacer. Vaya, vamos a decir, how often... Eh, de, de San Salvador Department change the menu entonces sería en este caso verdad sería 12 times a a week in this case right entonces sería la semana o no no it's in the month because this graph is, is the month no October. en el mes ah ok perfect so in go ahead month. entonces pero la estructura es esa How often do you or do they change the menu, right? How often do they, what? Do they rotate shift? How often do, do they new, uh, offer a new dessert, right? Or how often do they make promotional items or give promotional items, right? So you are going to make the questions that you are going to ask for department, as you say, right? And for the activity that belongs to each uh, category, right? During the month. But always you are going to use how often, blah, 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 blah right? It's clear?
Teacher, podría, disculpe, solo porque para estructurar mejor la pregunta, volver, eh, podría repetir, please, por favor. Bueno, entonces sería, ¿qué tan seguido ellos, el departamento de San Salvador cambia el menú o el restaurante, verdad, en este caso, verdad? Bueno, en este caso no se sabe cuál es el restaurante, entonces lo vamos a poner como ellos, ¿ok? How often do they change the menu? How often do they, they change in the department of San Salvador? Change the menu, right? Or change, or, or change uh, the menu? You can say, right? Voy a, voy a escribirle en el one notes, mejor. Para que tengamos uno mejor. Vale, la pregunta no, es can... how often. Uh -huh. Voy a hacerlo más grande porque casi no se mira, chicos. Okay, es que esa gráfica es como, como que preguntaron en los restaurantes que habían dentro de San Salvador y de ahí sacaron a... Ajá. ¿Do they change the menu? Entonces vamos a escribir la actividad, ¿verdad? Change the menu. In the San Salvador Department, por ejemplo. Así. Entonces usted va a responder, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántas veces? Eh, en este caso serían 12, ¿verdad? They change. Yes, they change. Ok. The menu. 12 times, times a month, right? 12 times a month. Quiero ver cómo lo escribí. No, no, no tengo eso. Al mes, right? En el mes de octubre. Ajá. Uh -huh. Two times a month. Digamos, lo cambian tantas veces en el, en el mes. O puede ser in, in October, right? You can say that. If you don't want to write month, you can write October, right? Oh. Okay. This is the way that you are going to answer this question. This is the way you are going to make the question. Aquí donde dice change the menu, usted va a cambiar la actividad, ¿verdad? Puede ser rotate chief. O puede ser new dessert or, may, or offer a new dessert, right? Or offer or what? Or give este item or pro promotional item. New dessert. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que va a cambiar, nada Or más. De ahí todo lo demás es igual. Y la respuesta, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántas veces? Si serían 12 veces o serían 4 veces. O serían cinco veces, solamente le van a cambiar el número acá y la actividad, ¿verdad? Que es esta, que también va a cambiar en la respuesta. Ok. Teacher, o sea que no, ya no voy a usar change the menu. ¿Cómo no? En la primera sí, Verónica. Oh, okay. Pero como son cuatro este, actividades que ellos hacen, ¿verdad? Que sería cambiar el menú, este, sería ofrecer un nuevo postre, ¿verdad? La otra sería mm. este, rotar los horarios, etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? O cambiar los horarios. Y ahí la misma estructura de respuesta y la misma estructura de preguntas. Solamente vamos a cambiar la actividad. Sí, pero no había entendido esa gráfica. ¿eh? Ahí sí estoy mal. Pretty bad than that. I'm pretty bad than that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But thank you for noticing me. For telling me and explaining. No, no. <laughs> Every day we learn something new, right? <laughs> no, no. No, es que... Teacher, eh, una consulta. ¿Y vamos a hacer todas o voy a hacer unas cuatro? ¿Cuántas haríamos? Yo digo que ahí serán unas cinco nada más, porque si no se van a estar un montón, chicos. Con, con, con solo que este shoes de one department salen varias. Ajá, solo que elijan un, un, un departamento, puede ser La Paz, San Salvador. ¿Cuál es el otro? La Unión, Sultán. Ajá, sí, la Unión bien. y Sultán. Ok, perfecto. Sí, porque aquí no lo puedo ver porque tengo abierto el Walmart. 
¿ok? Va, entonces esa es la forma como vamos a trabajar. ¿Se, se, se entiende cómo va a ir la estructura? Y eso es todo, chicos. Nada más. Solo eligen un department y ya estuvo, ¿right? Entonces los ponemos en pairs. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank you. you are going to work in pairs. Ese, ese debe ser homework. No, es for... Ah, right ok. <laughs> o lo hacemos ahorita, así individually, en vez de entrar a los break rooms. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, teacher, it's better like this. It's better like this. Ok, perfect. Entonces vamos a tener unos minutitos de trabajar para oh, formar las preguntas. Lo hacemos. Ah, ok. Es que si lo hacían en pareja... Se hará ahorita, a... ¿verdad? Ajá, y van a trabajar las preguntas y después van a decírselo. Sí, se va, nos vamos a tardar más. De... Ajá. Finish time. <laughs> ok, perfecto. Teacher. Yes. Dice que mi teléfono ya no tiene carga. Ah, ok, hasta donde la aguante, Maritza. No problem. Okay. Ajá, le, ahí le digo por si me desconecto y me apoya con la asistencia. <laughs> ok, perfect. No worries.
Why we shouldn't teach him? Me? Diga me, George. Times. Eh, times es tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero times aplica como versos. Sí, así es. Lo único que tiene que okay. ser four times, three times, five times, y así sucesivamente, right? Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Bye, chicos. Because of the time, guys, we are going to stop here, right? Because we we just missing we are missing just three minutes, and we are going to let it for tomorrow. Okay. Try to work in that uh, in that questions and that answers, and we are going to check it for tomorrow. Okay. By the way. Did you make your homework, guys? ¿Cómo van con las tareas, chicos? Teacher, could you could you um check my note? <laughs> okay, perfect. No worries. Ahorita, ahorita, Please. ahorita, ahorita. <laughs> yes, you're right. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. No se preocupe. No problem. See. Just give me some minutes and I'm going to open the list. Okay, aquí vamos. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Vamos a ver dónde estás. Ana Victoria dice: ¿Dónde estás, Verónica? Okay. De, de la creo, última. Creo que estás. Ah, ok. Estás en la otra página entonces. Chicos, recuerden que hay que trabajar la segunda semana ya, chicos. Y hay que hacer también el midterm. Acá estás. Mira. Ok. Sí, you have a 75% of the midterm, also, right? Teacher. La uh -huh. lista, teacher. Yes, the list. Ok. Thank you so much for remembering to me, right? Bye. ¿Alguien más tiene que ver las notas, chicos? Yo, yo ya vi ahí, este, creo que podrían verme el link de la de unidad 2 de las tareas para poder hacerla. Ya entendí cómo es el, la dinámica ahí. Ah, ok. Vaya, este, la, este, de las tareas de la plataforma, Michael. Hola. De las tareas de la plataforma. Sí, sí, sí. Vaya, Michael. Ya, tuve bastantes problemas, pero ya, ya entendí cómo es el asunto ahí, gracias pero, a los compañeros. Ahí que mi... Pero ya le dieron el paso, el pase, ya tiene la contraseña, ya pudo de entrar hecho, a la Sí, de hecho, ahí estaba viendo que ya tengo 80-80 ahí en la, en la en MM-M. Ahí Ajá. acabo de ver que iba pasando y acabo de ver que ya tengo calificación, o sea, de que 
solo está que vaya terminando las que me han ido quedando faltantes ahí. Ajá, sí, es Ella cierto. por eso ya está viendo 80, 80, o sea que sí, ya comencé a entender ahí. Ajá, ok, perfecto. Siempre es ahí, siempre en, en el mismo link tengo que entrar entonces. Sí, en el El mismo mismo tiene link que me entrar. dando las tareas. Sí, así Porque ya es. me dio la tarea 10. Sí, Eso, o sea, así entonces, es. de ahí para allá sigo las tareas. Sí, ahí solo le da cheque, enviar y de ahí siguiente, enviar, siguiente. Sí, ok. Y Ok, recuerde hacer muy el meter, este Michael. Teacher, Dígame. yo no vine lunes y martes. ¿Hasta qué nivel van las tareas? Ahorita están, bueno, digamos, ahorita tenemos que estar en la tarea 7. La de ahora sería la tarea 7. Así se. Ajá, recuerden que en la unidad, en la sección 2, chicos, tienen que desplegarles la, las tareas de la unidad 2 y también tienen que hacer el midterm. Ok, no se olviden que el midterm también tiene cuatro partes. Le va a dar enviar, siguiente, enviar, siguiente. Si no, no me le va a tomar en cuenta las notas. Ok, perfecto. So, let's pass the list. Vamos a ver. ¿Dónde estamos, chicos? Just give me some minutes and I'm going to open the list. Vamos a ver. Control de asistencia acá está. Ok, Alex, en no. Ramírez Salazar. Here. Ok, Ana Here, Raquel. teacher. Campos Ayala. Present. Ok, Ana Victoria Galán. Present, teacher. Ok, Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Here, teacher. Ok, Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela, Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana, Zúñiga Aldana, perdón, Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas, Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón, Freddy Ricardo Landa Verde, Jorge, ok, Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz, ok, Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán, Present teacher. Luis Eduardo Reyes, María José Escobar Portillo, Present. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos, Present. Thank you. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla, Present teacher. More excelente, Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda, Present. Thank you. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño, Okeli de Jesús Eméstica Carranza. Y Verónica Lisset Portillo de Castro. Thank you so much. Bye, chicos. Entonces nos vamos a detener acá y las preguntas las vamos a revisar el día de mañana. Traten de trabajarlas así despacito, ¿verdad? Y pues chequeamos mañana, ¿ok? Thank you so much for being here and I see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Good night, everybody. Have a nice stream. Bye, bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Please, work on homeworks. Excellent. Thank you so much. See you, teacher. Good night, classmates. Good night. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. See you tomorrow, Alex.